everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome Presta Shop video. So today we're going to see how to create a script that generates products directly from PHP. And this can be useful, for example, if you want to create a custom import script or something like that. So uh, let's get to it. It's going to be uh, quite easy. I'm in my Presta Shop root here and I'm going to, instead of creating a new PHP file, I'm going to copy this one and paste it. I'm going to call it product create.php, obviously. I'm going to open it up, erase everything, and open PHP tags again. So now, the first thing you need to do whenever you create a third party script, which is not in the PrestaShop core, so it's not a module, it's not a controller, you need to include the configuration and initialization files. So include their name file dot config slash config dot ink dot php okay i'm going to copy and paste and i'm going to change this to init dot php which is actually the file we just copied all right so before we start creating the product i want to save and store actually um the language id into a variable so configuration get and it's going to be ps lang default. You'll see why in a second. And now I'll create my product. So product equals new product. This is going to be an object which is instance of the product class. Okay, so uh, it's not as easy as it looks like. We can't just um, get away with this. We gotta give it some um, properties. So product name is going to be an array because the um, product is multi-language so we're going to pass in default lang as key and test uh, or test product actually as name so it's basically id language followed by the um, actual name so if i had other languages such as french i would use say the id for that language for that language sorry and then the French name. So, uh, like, I think it's Perdui, something like that. Okay, I only have English here, so I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna save the product link rewrite, which is the um, rewrite, which is the um, so to speak fancy name. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, when you enable your uh, friendly URLs in Presta Shop, you're gonna see. Um, I don't know if, if it's off screen, but no, it should be in. So right down there, you can see en slash blouses slash two dash blouse. And that uh, last blouse string is the actual link rewrite, okay? So I'm gonna use the same pattern here since, uh, again, it's multi-language. So um, it needs to be in a URL format. So test product without spaces, without any fancy character, just um, simple alphanumeric characters then let's set a price for it so product price it's going to be uh, 11.90 say then our product needs a quantity so 10 and then it needs of course to be inside a category uh, in this case i'm going to use um an array again and i know the category uh sorry three comma four. I know the category IDs here, so if you don't know them, and again, since this is a very simple script, I am assuming um, you don't need to create the category. So if in case you need to know the category IDs, you can go in the back office, catalog, categories, and you can see the ID is right here. So in this case, I'm gonna use um, women and tops. We'll see maybe in a future video how to handle category creation in case um, there is none. Then it needs a default category, so ID category default, and it's going to be three, so women. And now I can add the product. So if product add, which is uh, a method valid for all uh, Presta Shop objects, so product update 
categories since what we just did um, didn't actually add the categories. It just um, it was just to save them to the product object, but didn't add them to the database. So a uh, product ID category. So the method here accepts an array of the categories the product has to belong to as um, argument. So uh, last thing, stock available, we're going to update the stock. So set quantity, since again, what we did here uh, is going to save into a database, but not um, reflect in the actual shop. So I'm going to pass in an integer for the product ID. And now you can see why we had to wait until we added the product here. It's because we need to pass in an ID. And before that, since there was no product saved in the database yet, we had no ID at all. So zero as second parameter, and then product quantity. And lastly, context get context shop ID. All right, we are assuming we are in a single shop environment here. Save, and let's see if it works. So I will reach it out in my front office. So product create.php. And okay, update category the. So it's, it's a, a little spelling mistake. Save, refresh. All right. So everything went smoothly, I guess. Let's refresh the back office. And okay, we have two since I, I broke the first one. So delete this one. And let's just, just uh, to make sure it properly works, delete again, refresh, refresh this one, and it works. So we have 1190, 10 women category, perfect. Now, as a very last thing of this video, let's see how to actually modify a product instead of um, just adding it. So let's pretend we have um, a CSV file here and I might, um, treat this subject in the next video, why not? So uh, we have a CSV file open, looping through products. This is a single product, a single line, sorry, in the loop. Okay, so uh, we wanna get the default language before that, so somewhere around this before the loop. And then instead of creating a new product, I'm gonna pass in an ID. So pretend the ID in this case is saved in the um, CSV. So I'm gonna use 20 as this is the ID of my product. So I'm gonna pass in the ID. And then let's say I'm gonna change the name to test. I'm gonna change the price to 13.90, quantity uh, no 70, and the categories are okay, I guess. Now, instead of doing uh, this thing, adding the product, I'm gonna use update, okay? So I, I can remove this part here. I'm not gonna update categories, and I'm just gonna update the quantity here. All right, save, reach the page again, let me just check. All right, so unexpected end of file, I guess I forgot semicolon as I always do, okay. Save again, run it smoothly, refresh, and you can see 70, 13.90, test. All right, I guess, uh, I guess it works pretty well. So I think we are done for today's video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.